September the 11th is, uh, was a monumental day in our nation's history. It was a significant day, and it was obviously, an, it changed my presidency. Uh, the two planes flew into the two towers, a smaller plane into the North Tower. Uh, I went from being a, a president that was primarily focused on domestic issues to a wartime president. Something I never anticipated, nor something I ever wanted to be. We have seen many times George W. Bush's reaction in a Florida classroom to news that America was under attack. But only now, 10 years later, has the former US president revealed in intimate detail how events unfolded that day. He knew before entering the school that a plane had hit the World Trade Center. First, I thought it was a um, light aircraft. And my reaction was, man, it, it, either the weather was bad or something extraordinary happened to the pilot. But then the second plane hit. In the back of the classroom was a full press corps and uh, staffers and some adults. And I'm intently listening to the lesson. These words the fast way. Get ready. Hey. Yes. And I felt a presence behind me. And Andy Card's Massachusetts accent uh, was whispering in my ear a second plane has hit the second tower. America is under attack. The unprecedented interview was secured by journalist and documentarian Peter Schnall. So we wanted to give the president a chance to speak to those horrific days in September, you know, days that changed his presidencies. And we wanted him to do it in a manner that was personal, that was in-depth, and that would speak to those events perhaps in a way that we haven't heard before. Uh, they agreed to the format. They agreed to the manner in which we would conduct the interview, and that would be just one-on-one, -on -one, the president sitting, you know, right across from me, and we just talked for almost five hours over the course of two days. What struck you most about what he said? What struck me the most was that during those, those hours, the days of 9-11, the president was overwhelmed by the events, overwhelmed in the sense that uh, and certainly in the first few hours of September 11th, they didn't really know who the enemy was. They didn't know if there were more attacks about to happen. So he spoke about the fact that he was journeying through the fog of war, which I thought was a very interesting and powerful thing for a president to speak about. Do you think he remains troubled by that period? We could see in the interview that the president was very taken by the events on that day. Obviously, it was a day that will forever be, you know, the, the center from which his presidency changed. Uh, he was very emotional. He talked a, a few times about decisions that he had to make. Remember now, he's not in Washington. He's literally flying across the country. They are literally running from an unknown enemy. And they are having to make decisions at 40,000 feet in Air Force One. And he talked about some of the decisions that he had to make. For example, ordering the Air Force to shoot down commercial planes that had not responded to the FAA demand to land. And those were decisions that he had to make, and they troubled him then, mm -hmm. and I think they still troubled him now. He talked about the fact that when Flight 93 went down in the fields of Pennsylvania, uh, remember now, he's still on Air Force One, and the communication was not as good as it was supposed to have been. He talked about that they weren't sure if that plane had gone down because of his order to shoot down commercial planes. The other key decision that day amounted to what has been a lingering war on terror. Make no mistake, the United States will hunt down and punish those responsible for these cowardly acts. That hunt culminated on May 2nd this year with the death of Osama bin Laden. Coincidentally, it came as Schnall was preparing to interview the former president who has never commented on the assassination. He told us that he was sitting in a restaurant in, in Dallas when the Secret Service uh, told him that President Obama uh, wanted to speak to him. He then learned about 
the assassination. He said to us certainly that there was no sense of jubilation, certainly no sense of happiness. If anything, he uh, felt that finally there was a sense of closure. Do you get the sense that the former president, George W. Bush, has any regrets? You know, that's an interesting question. As we, we often ask the people that we're interviewing, you know, is there anything you would do again? Is there anything that you regret? And he kind of looked at me and said, I hate that damn question. <laughs> and uh, mm. he, he did not ever use the word regret. He did not ever say that he would have done anything differently. He did say in the interview quite clearly that he made decisions, decisions that were controversial and they still are controversial. I mean, look, we're still living through the conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, those decisions that they made in September will forever have changed uh, our life and the world today.